that. Well, up next, we have Doug Silva. And I'm proud to introduce Doug Silva, the miracle worker that does it all, not just for his own business, but for us as well. He's a creative director, account manager, and designer behind Midnight Gra Graphics. He is based out of Pittsburgh, California, where he has lived for over 15 years with his partner, Arnie. They have been together for over 22 years. They have no kids, no pets, but lots of Christmas things. Doug has been in business for over 24 years and working as a graphic designer for over 28 years. His burning desire is to see the Aurora Borealis elf, and visit the Disneyland parks around the world. So welcome Doug Silva of Midnight Graphics. Okay, hello everybody. Again, my name is Doug Silva with Midnight Graphics. Thank you, Joanne. I'm gonna do my presentation just a little bit about me and then my dream, cream, and uh, bread and butter referrals. That's a thing that uh, Dr. Ivan Meisner and the like me and I created. So it kind of gives a little bit of idea. So here's just a few of my favorite things. Yes, that's a picture of our house. Some of you have got to have the pleasure to see the massive Christmas menagerie we create. I love to cook and bake and we do make jam and some of you have got to experience that. Yes, I do like my Disney and we are very, very proud homeowners of this house down there in Pittsburgh for 15 years. So being blessed to have a home in California is a very big deal. Here's some milestones of my company, a little bit about me. My first day working as a graphic designer was actually Monday. I had this like epiphany that I actually remember the car I drove, what clothes I stole, I wore that day on my first day of the job as a graphic designer at a company in Concord called Visual Communications. So Monday, that was my little thing. So I've been doing this for 28 years, officially. And I created Minute Graphics with the fictitious business name on March 10th. That was 24 years ago. And I was inducted into this beautiful chapter. Thank you, Miley. On May 8th was my introduction date 15 years ago. And then I was born and raised in Reno, moved to California 32 years ago. So that's just like kind of like longevity. It's my nurture. I don't like change. So I've been doing this all my life. Here is, a, well, I cannot use my purse. This is a little bit about bread, my bread and butter. I'm not gonna take a screen capture of this. Um, these are what I love to do. This is what I do a lot of. I do a lot of little things for a lot of people. Hey, can you pick up this? Can you do this? Can you make signage for that? And then Dion and I are just huge power partners. We're going back and forth, talking practically every day about different stuff. And we work on really great projects. So here's just tons of stuff. But what I did during the pandemic a lot of that people went social, LinkedIn profiles, their picture, the graphic that needs to fit in. That was a huge thing. Can you update this? I need to get all, and I use this phrase and a lot of people laugh is, your brand has to be matchy matchy. So whatever is on your business card, what's on your website should be also on your social media. So print and web and social is absolutely very important. So as you can see, there's very consistency around. The mugshot has to be there. The color has to be used. Fonts have to be used consistent. There's a whole style thing and I'll show you that. Here's what Deanne and I do a lot of, is that we do these huge tracial graphics, tons of these, and um, people are doing stuff in person. Here's what a, like a bring-in package look like. You get the logo, you get the business card, you get the swag that goes along to it, you get the truck, and then um, you get all the stuff, the giveaways, the signage, if it goes on buildings. Um, then we work with the social media people world, and then video, I mean, there's so many things that you can go on once you get the, the ground going. So here's a little of the, a style guide. Um, uh, Coca-Cola has about four volumes of this. And they actually tell you that you stand on one foot and cluck like a chicken when you use the logo. It's a whole very particular thing. We're very, very, very particular when how to use the logo, the color, and there's a whole size thing. So you don't stretch it. You don't change the color because you just feel like you wanted to be a color one day. So there's a whole style guide. We're very, very particular. So I create these for when I create the brand package for the client. So that is my bread and butter. Now I'm going into my cream referrals. I got the pleasure to work with Dr. Ivan Meinsner and Don and Mike, uh, Don, uh, Don Lyons and Mike Macedonio, B and I, and create some the covers and design books for them. So here's the books I got to do. 
So I got to work with four books for Dr. Ivan Meisner and also three for, uh, uh, two for Don and Mike. So it was really exciting to work with BNI people all around the world to create their book cover. So that's a blessing. And I'm really grateful that I got to have the visibility to create that. So yes, I'm tooting my own horn. So my dream referral, I'm kind of doing them, but I actually want more. I want to work with more cannabis dispensaries. Um, thank you, Susie Garcia, that introduced me to a winery in Lodi, which gave me a client that's out of New York, and I am still doing their wine labels and working with them since 2019. So Susie Garcia is a huge, huge thank you and a big part of my world of I get to work and do stuff for them. And it's, it's a little edgy. You have to talk to me personally on a one-to-one -one about who they are, but I have to constantly thank Susie Garcia. She's just amazing for getting me into that. You don't know where you're gonna get. And I wanna be an outsourced to somebody. Now, here's a little bit of something I did last time, but I wanna show it again. I do photo restoration. And Brady gave me this referral of a former BNI member. So this is a picture of her father who has severe Alzheimer's and dementia. And when she presented this in last uh, Father's Day, he remembered this and he broke into hysterical tears because he you know, knew where this was. This was back in the 1940s. So she, we blew this up and you know, she wanted me because obviously he lost his foot in the picture and I restored it back into, and it was just really a great thing. So I can fix photos. And then here's the same client who she wanted a picture of him. Okay, there's a lot of white skin there. But if you look at the guy with the only shirt, he wanted, uh, Maria wanted him out of the picture because he broke uh, her daughter's heart. So they broke up. So she's like, I'm giving this picture as a gift. Get rid of him. He upset our family. So what did I do? If you go look over for the on your right, is I moved them over, rebuilt the boat, and I took them out. So she threatened all the other boyfriends. If you make my daughters unhappy, I'm going to take you out of this picture. <laughs> it was really funny. So that's a whole thing I can kind of manipulate. And it's really scary. With the world we live in now, do not believe anything you see. Because if I could do this, you could only imagine. And with AI being around, I'm just giving you a PSA. Don't believe everything you see. Do your research. You have one I think I'm toward my tail end. Um, let's set up a one-to-one. -one, and I would love to hear more about uh, you. I would love to give more referrals. And you can learn about me and see a lot more of my work. So thank you.